Hey guys, what's going on? It's Osas from Samsung Galaxy S3 Soft Monitor, and today I'm going to be showing you how to customize your Google Experience Launcher to the max. So you can change icon size, text color, you can realign the grid, add 10 items in a row to the um, app drawer, a bunch of things. Um, of course for this, since it is an exposed module, we're going to need the exposed framework and a rooted phone. So once you have a rooted phone and the exposed framework, you can just begin using the exposed installer. Now in the exposed installer, we're just going to go to download and we're going to search for GEL, which stands for Google Experience Launcher Settings. And you can see right here, we're going to hit that and we're going to hit download. Of course, make sure you download the most recent version. As you can see the most recent version right now is 1.2. Once you've downloaded and installed that, you can go ahead and go back to modules and make sure that it's checked in the module section. Once checked, you can go ahead and go to framework or long hold your power button and reboot the device. And once you reboot the device, the um, framework or the module will now be activated. Now with the module activated, we can go ahead and go to it. And it is right here. So GEL exposed. And here is the pretty expansive settings menu and these are all the things that you can change. I'll just go over a few of the, the main ones that most people use. You will need to tap this right area, area right here where it says restart launcher. You're not restarting your device, you're just restarting the launcher. So any changes that you make will require you to restart the launcher. So if you scroll down you can see page indicator, um, resize widgets, Enable rotation, and you can see right here, that does actually require you to reboot, but all the other ones do not. So, um, just standard thing I'll show you before I actually change it. You can see that the Google search bar is visible on all the pages, including the Google Now page. If you do want to hide that, you can do that. So I'm going to show you that first, and then I'll go get into some other more expansive features. So again, we'll just jump back into the installer. You can see here where it says Google search bar. You just tap on that to hide it. Hit restart. You'll see here, it'll say killed com.google at Android. Go back and you can see that the um, Google search bar is gone. It does remain on the Google Now page. So if you do want to use it, of course, you can just scroll all the way and you can use it here. So if we just hop back into the app, I'm going to show you a couple other things and then you can go ahead and test it out for yourself. There's a bunch of features that you can mess with, so it's actually pretty awesome. So go back in here, go to Exposed, scroll down. I'll begin messing with the app drawer first. So make sure that you enable changes to the grid, because if you're adding more rows or more um, columns, you're gonna need to mess with the grid, so you have to make sure that this is enabled in order for um, that to take place. You can also hide applications. You just go to select apps to hide. You can hide them by just simply checking on that. As you can see, I have two calculator apps. One I like more than the other. So I'm going to hide the default one. I'm hiding chat on. And you can just hide applications that you don't want to see in your app drawer. And once you do that, of course, you go back up and then you hit restart launcher. Now I'm going to change the app columns. The standard, I think, is five or four. I'll go six. And then I'll change the rows to, let's go, 8. Why not? And then background color, I've already messed around with it, but usually by default it's that dark gray. You can barely see it. We'll just change it to green. Just tap on that. You can see right here that it's green. Um, you can also change the text color. By default, of course, it's white. Let's use blue. Just tap on that. You can also enter in a hex color. If you know those, you can, of course, just Google hex codes and you can find a bunch. Tap on that. That'll be blue. And then we're going to go ahead, scroll all the way up, and make sure, again, to hit Restart Launcher. So now we're going to restart our launcher. We're going to go back. And then we're going to open up the app drawer to see my changes. So I did 6 by 8. There you go. 6 by 8. You can see that the background is the color that I chose. And that's really it. I mean, those are just some of the basic things that you can do, of course, if you don't want a super cramped um, app drawer, you probably wouldn't want to have that many in there, but I'm just showing you guys all the things that you can do. So let's go back 
to disable those, of course, you can just go to, you can just uncheck what you just did. Um, you can do the same thing for the home screen. Again, you're going to want to make sure this is on. I don't have that many applications on the home screen, so this isn't that useful. But again, you can go to home screen columns, change that. Same thing with the rows. And you could also um, change the icon size. So you just make sure to check, check or enable um, changes to icons, of course. And we're going to go to icon percentages. If you think they're too big, let's shrink it down to 60%. You can also change the check the text size, etc. This can be done for app drawer and um, home screen separately. So we'll do that. So the home screen, I did it at 60%. Hit restart. We'll go back out, and you see that the my icons are now, of course, a lot smaller. If we open up the app drawer, they're a little bit smaller as well. So you can do that. Um, if you, of course, have a 6x8 like I do, shrinking the icons would make it a lot better instead of having the normal size icons squeezed together in that really big grid. Um, so again, it's GEL settings. It's an exposed module. You can tweak um, a ton of different settings in your Google Experience Launcher. Of course, for that, you're going to need the Google Experience Launcher, which you can get in the full tutorial. I have a link for that guide. Um, and you can begin messing around and changing up all of your settings. It's um pretty awesome. It's of course it's free. It's an exposed module, so make sure to check that one out. Um, check out the full tutorial for more information. If you have any questions, they should be answered in the full tutorial. You can of course leave a comment, and we'll make sure to answer that as soon as we can. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.